Hello everyone, and welcome back to GeoMarvel Live. I'm Dan, a solutions engineer with GeoMarvel. Last time we worked through creating a backup of your ArcGIS Enterprise deployment by utilizing the WebGIS DR backup utility. Today I'll be describing how to restore your ArcGIS Enterprise environment using the same WebGIS DR utility. So let's get started. The restore process of the WebGIS DR utility is very beneficial if part of your ArcGIS Enterprise deployment fails web services or data are erroneously or accidentally deleted, or if you'd like to migrate your ArcGIS Enterprise environment from one server instance to another. A few things to be aware of when utilizing the WebGIS DR backup and restore process is that any items or services created since the last export or backup will be lost. And as I mentioned in the previous video, map and tile service caches, reference data sources for web services, Spatio-temporal big data store backup files and graph store backup files are not included in the backup created by the WebGS DR utility. Therefore, those must be backed up and restored separately. The deployment to which you restore must be at the same version it was when you created the backup. For instance, an ArcGIS 10.8.1 enterprise environment cannot be restored to a 10.9.1 ArcGIS enterprise environment. Additionally, you must restore to the same type of operating system. You cannot create a backup of an ArcGIS Enterprise deployment on Linux and restore it to Microsoft Windows machines. In addition to that, a few items of note are that if you're using a highly available ArcGIS Enterprise deployment, the WebGIS DR tool maintains high availability settings for the GIS server site and the ArcGIS data store relational and tile cache data stores. For the portal, the WebGIS DR tool unregisters the standby portal machine resource the portal to the primary machine, and then re-registers the standby machine. If you create incremental backups of your deployment, you must have the last incremental and the last full backup created before that incremental backup to restore your deployment. And one additional note for ArcGIS Insight customers, if you have database connection configurations on this site, you must unregister the registered Insights relational data store types prior to performing a restore operation. If you do not complete this step, attempts to restore the site will fail. So here we have an ArcGIS Enterprise deployment that has three hosted feature layers in it. What we're first gonna do for this demonstration is create a backup utilizing the WebGIS DR utility to create a backup of this ArcGIS Enterprise deployment as we see it now. Now that we've successfully backed up the ArcGIS Enterprise deployment, for the purposes of this demonstration, let's go ahead and delete two feature layers that are being hosted in our ArcGIS Enterprise deployment. This could simulate hosted feature layers being accidentally or erroneously deleted if delete protection was not set on these layers. So now that those are deleted, let's go through the process of restoring our ArcGIS Enterprise deployment so that we get those hosted data layers back. In order to do so, just like in the backup process, we want to navigate to the WebGIS DR Utility Tool folder in the portal folder of the ArcGIS Enterprise environment. To do that, go to the portal machine, C drive, program files, ArcGIS, portal, tools, WebGIS DR. And in here is a properties file. This is the same properties file that we use to create the backup of the ArcGIS Enterprise environment. You can utilize the same properties file if none of the parameters have changed and if you're okay with using the default WebGIS DR utility backup, which is the most recent backup in your backups location. If you would like to restore to a certain time or a certain backup, what you'll want to do is note the file name, open up the properties file, and at the backup location, you'll want to specify the file name of the backup that you want to restore. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're just going to take the most recent and we're going to leave all of our properties the same as it was when we created the backup because nothing has changed. 
And just like when you create the ArcGIS Enterprise Backup, you want to ensure that the domain account that runs the WebGIS DR tool has at least read access to the backup location and write access to the shared location. So let's get started. So in order to restore our ArcGIS Enterprise deployment, we're going to run the WebGIS DR utility tool with the import process. In order to do so, we're going to open up Command Prompt, run it as an administrator, and then we'll change the directory And now that our directory is the WebGIS DR utility folder within the tools folder of the portal machine, let's specify the WebGIS DR batch file. And we're dash dash, and we're going to run the import process with the file of WebGIS DR properties. So let's go ahead and run this. And while this is running, it will give you some verbiage as to what's going on. First, it's going to restore the relational data store, then the ArcGIS server components, and then finally the portal components of your ArcGIS Enterprise deployment. So there we go. Once we get the verbiage of the WebGIS DR utility completed successfully, we know that the ArcGIS Enterprise deployment has been successfully restored. This specific restore took 24 minutes. And we don't have quite a bit in our ArcGIS Enterprise deployment, so if you have a lot of layers and associated data, expect this restore process to take quite a bit longer. So let's check out our portal content page to see if those two deleted feature layers came back. And there we go. State Trails and Springs were the two that we deleted, and we now have them back in our ArcGIS Enterprise deployment without having to republish any of the associated feature layer data. Well, that's a wrap for how to restore your ArcGIS Enterprise deployment utilizing the WebGIS DR utility. If you like this video, please feel free to comment, subscribe, and tune in to Geode Marvel's channel for more. Thanks for watching.